Hi, my name's Lyle Payne, and I've gone to Flight Fest for the last two years. This year, on Friday morning, I was having breakfast with a friend, and we were talking about how the same technology that keeps our kids on the couch and indoors was also used to create the Flight Fest event, and how ironic that was. My friend responded by saying that uh, while it does help to create it, the videos that you see online don't begin to express what the experience is like being at Flight Fest. I determined that I should go out that day and just take interviews of the people there because it occurred to me that most of the people who go to Flight Fest don't go there for the airplanes, they go there for the people. They can fly at home, they can build airplanes at home, but what they can't do at home is interact personally with each other. So this video is going to be just a montage of interviews to try and express to you what the experience of being at Flight Fest is actually like. All right, well this is Chad Capper, and he, uh, he started Flight Fest. <laughs> and this is Josh Scott. He's my cousin, and he uh -huh. starred on Flight Test. Yes. Well, stars on Flight Test. That's debatable, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. uh, so, what should we talk to them? They don't know who we are. We, we told them, but they're still like, what's right. Flight Test? So, Flight Test is, it started out as a, as a YouTube series that was based around uh, helping people get into the RC hobby in a, a very, yeah, a, a flight, thank you, in a very, uh, we would say, economic way. Right. But an uplifting way as well. Make it fun. Make it fun and cheap. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, both of you fly? Yeah, of course, yes. What is your favorite airplane to fly? My, oh. Or quad. Well, uh, you know what? I'm going to go back to one of my first planes. I. And I haven't flown in a while, but I love the Twin Star. I don't know, the Multiplex Twin Star is probably, I think a lot of it's nostalgic. You know what, I also have a Twisted Hobbies s box that I love. It's a profile foamy that I love, but I mostly fly mini quads now. And you, sir? I like the FT Explorer. Where you get double? Nice and simple. Just, <laughs> That's what I need. So you had, you had no problem making up your mind? Uh, no problem. What's that? Making up your mind. What? No. Um, no. It's been my favorite for a while okay. now. Okay. I like the FT How Flyer as far as scratch builds. That's a good one. How many times have you been to Flight Fest? Uh, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Every, every one. If you, You've if you include one. Uh, this one, yeah. how many years? Actually, I thought it was... We've been doing this five years? I think the first Wait, one is 2014. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it would be five. five yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I've, I've been to two, is it two additional other ones? ones. Yeah. Like West? Yeah. So I've been to yeah. seven. Yeah. I this, this I've, five. So of, of all your experiences, everything that's happened, which one is the most memorable to you? Which flight fest? Which experience? It, which experience? So show counts too. Oh, just experience in general. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I, okay, I got mine. All right, go ahead. I, I, I have a bunch, so it depends on what day you ask me, but the 100-mile-an-hour plane, when Josh and I made the 100-mile-an-hour plane out of foam, I think I like that experience so much because he punched a hole in my house. <laughs> and, and he felt so bad, and I could do nothing but laugh. <laughs> and it was, it was like that far from the kitchen window. <laughs> so... It was uh, easy to fix. I would say, for me, it would have to be our first trip out to California. In, oh, I think no, was, that, I'm going to change mine. 2011. It was actually, no at the backs. time, it was at the time a really frustrating trip. Well, not really, but... Were you there, frustrated? There was, no, but... I didn't I, know that. I, there was, I wasn't frustrated. I was having a good time, but you... It makes me angry. I felt like you were frustrated, <laughs> and it was pouring onto the rest of the team. No, it, there was a lot of things that didn't go the way that we planned them. Yeah. That's true, like the uh, the Fox. Yeah, the, like the fiberglass Fox it is hands down one of my favorite. Did you guys see that episode? The, the We're Josh, out in the when desert. Josh, Josh flew it? Yep. Yes. Yeah. For about, for the about shortest, two seconds. shortest flight ever? Yeah. 
But there were so many things that, that didn't go the way that we planned. But it's funny because that was really at the beginning of flight test. And we soon found out that most of the things That's how it didn't goes. go how, they, how we planned. And a lot of times it, it, you're better for it. Uh, so it was, uh, it was a very interesting experience, but I, I loved it and I think about it all the time. Yeah, I, I did like that. That's Corey Feldman was on that one. <laughs> I try not to think about that. So, so how long have you guys been here this year? How long You've been, been here every day? Well, I got, we were here yesterday. Yeah, we, we live we live relatively in the area. I'm like 35 so. minutes from here. So we're in and out, yeah. About the same, yeah. Um, have you made, this year, in the time that you've been here, have you made any new friends? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Flight test, or Flight Fest is always a place to make new friends. And not just not just for me and, and you know, people that, who are seen on the videos and know, known by people here, uh, but everyone who comes here, it seems like, walks away with new relationships, new, new connections, which is a really awesome thing to see. Definitely. Yeah, there's a couple mini quad pilots that uh, I've seen online, but got to meet in person, and, you know, we're going to... They're gonna come out and fly. Ke Kevin and John, John Michael, so. and they're local. So I thought that was kind of cool. You could have just made those names up, and I wouldn't. I can't. <laughs> they're real. You have the only interview that has Josh Scott and myself exclusively. Okay. <laughs> He's subscribed, and, mm -hmm. and but all none of the others have been here. Yeah. Okay. So explain oh, really? to them. Wait, why aren't you guys coming? Yeah. What's yeah. what? What's explain the deal? Explain to them why they should come. Why they should be here? It's like yeah. a mile long flight line. Yeah. It's I, I've never heard of anybody uh, coming out to Flight Fest and it not exceeding their expectations right. uh, because it's I mean it's obviously fun. Uh, there's plenty of flying to do, plenty of combat, uh, building, all, all that kind of stuff but there's just a lot more depth uh, to what flight test is that really can't be experienced until you come here and you meet the amazing flight test community uh, because the people the people of the flight test community is really what makes flight test what it is and so uh, people like to come and they, and they like to, to meet us uh, because they're familiar with us but really you discover that the, the, the backbone of what Flight Test is, uh, is here in, in the people that are part of the community that come out to Flight Test. Very well put. Thank you. I, I would go with that. You don't have anything to add? Well, I think I they should it. come out here. <laughs> if you tried shaming them, that's always good. <laughs> You at least you don't here. don't do that. I'm Whatever you kidding. have to do to get them here, and then they'll be they'll be then set for life. Just apologize once they get here. You will probably honestly, won't even have. Honestly, to. And the ones that didn't come deserve the shame. If if they realize what they've missed, <laughs> right? I think that'll be enough. Sure. I yeah I agree. Yeah. I, I honestly don't endure shaming. Yeah, there's always next year. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, thank you for doing the interview. This yeah. is great. I very rarely get to see my cousin. <laughs> I have to log into YouTube. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us together. Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Jill. I'm from the Chicagoland area. I am here with my 14-year-old son who is a RC and FPV pilot. And this is our fourth year at Flight Fest. My name is Dick, and uh, I'm grandfather of the RC pilot, uh, my daughter's son, and uh, I'm here primarily uh, to just watch and see him perform, but I also have an own motorhome, and, and I live not too far away, and so uh, we bring my, our motorhome over so we can all camp together here and enjoy time together, not just for flight fest, but just uh, family time together, too. Yes. Well, when my son was younger, I was involved in the build process quite a bit um, because he needed a lot of help. So I learned alongside with him and I could use hot glue guns and X-Acto blades and I learned to solder and um, so it was something we could do together. Um, now he doesn't need my help and he's much better at all those things than I am. Um, but I keep him organized and I keep him fed and hydrated and... Um, and I still enjoy the process of him building and then going out and flying and being intimately somewhat involved in that. I'm not doing it with him, but I'm at least alongside him now. And uh, he has a friend here with him too. And uh, so it's 
it unplugs them. I mean, they're still using their screens, but they're, and they're always talking to other people and other kids and other pilots in the build tents. So really, one of the things we love most about Flight Fest is the, the experience in the build tent. The process of building his plane, talking to other people, getting help, learning other techniques, uh, improving his skills. Um, that's a really important part of the experience. Well, as far as watching the, the flying, I love the night flying with all the LED lights and so forth. That's that's really, really cool as a kid. Um, but I just continue to marvel at the technology uh, and I also marvel at my grandson's ability to build and repair and understand all this complicated stuff that I can't really begin to understand. And uh, it makes me appreciate uh, how much he's, how far he's come since he started. As a grandpa, you know, there's obviously a huge generational gap now with using technology and being digital. It gives my dad um, a connection to my grandson in a way that he could, you know, because he's here watching it, being part of it. Yeah. <laughs> so it really gives them a connection. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a you, testament to this company, too, yeah. obviously. It's, that it's they, amazing. you know, that, that they've made our seat flying affordable. Um, and a beginner can get in without a huge investment and crash their plane and not be devastated because they just crashed a $300 plane. Instead, they crashed the $70, you know, piece of equipment that they can usually salvage stuff from anyway and start over a new piece, you know? Yep. <laughs> There's another point here that I think is important, and that is my grandson aspires to be a real pilot or something. Very much so. He's been in the planes ever since he was five years old. This is kind of a beginning. He, obviously, it's a big difference between remote control and flying in a real airplane, but... It is a beginning. But he understands flight. He understands flight, absolutely. Yeah. And all the business about the, the wings and the rudders and the aerolines and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I think Flight Fest, you know, for us, since we're a camping family, we love the experience of camping and getting to know people around us. And, um, and like I said, then my son being able to interact directly with other pilots instead of just on computer uh, to work firsthand with them and, and experiences with them and, and I think it's a, an amazing an amazing time here and uh, flight test does an, an exceptional job of organizing managing this festival and with crisis management because we've been here for four years now and we've had some really bad weather and they've always done an amazing job of managing those situations and still making it very enjoyable. Yeah, so kudos to Flight Test. They, they always impress me at this festival. Um, yeah, I think it's a great experience. One of the things that, that I just marvel at, uh, I walk around and look at license plates. I just am amazed at how many people come from far away to come fly a remote control airplanes uh, with a big group of 1,500 or whatever it is others. I mean, they're, they're from all over the country. It's incredible. And yep. sometimes out of the country. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, that's right. Apparently it's not. But, uh, yeah. I always marvel at that every year. 